so say for example the first question the same question okay in many countries people spend a lot of money on parties and celebrations do you think it's a good trend or a bad trend so say for example i don't have ideas okay i was like oh my god this is such a difficult question for me what do i do what do i do what do i do so here what i'm going to do is i will say that's a difficult question let me think for a second all right so i have told the examiner that yes it's a difficult question for me so you know i need some time to think but it doesn't means that after saying this sentence you are again keeping silent no you have to start speaking this is just a sentence which is going to help you so that you will not remain silent in your ielts speaking and by the time you are going to speak this sentence i guess one or two points related to the question will definitely come to your mind all right so we'll see how can we use the second sentence so the second question is that do you think there are a lot of differences between parties organized by family and parties organized by friends see that's such a difficult question again but i find this question quite interesting so i can say that's an interesting question but I never thought about it. Let me think for a moment. Okay? So that's a very interesting question, but I never thought about it. But I'm again saying, let me think for a moment. We don't say let me think for a minute. We'll only say let me think for a moment or let me think for a second. Don't use the word minute because you can't keep silent for more than 5 seconds. So you can't say that examiner that you know, please allow me a time for of a minute to think. All right? So students, the other three sentences that you could use if you face the same problem like you don't have ideas, you don't know what to speak. So you can say that it's difficult to say I think that, okay? And then your statement like what you think, what your idea is. Similarly, you can say I don't really know for sure, but I'd say so remember carefully i don't really know for sure but i'd say so this i'd actually means i would now i have contracted i and would and i have read both of them together so i will read them as i'd and not i would okay so when there is a contraction it will be read as i'd and it is would it is not had okay so if it would be had then after that the verb form would be in its third form but here it is i'd say which is the first form of verb so it's i'd say similarly one more sentence that you could use is you could say um it's very difficult to know exactly but perhaps okay i don't know like what can happen but perhaps so guys these are five sentences that you could use during your al speaking if you feel that oh my god i don't know what to speak or whenever you are short of ideas even in the mid of your cue card as well sometimes just like you don't know what to say all right so over there if required you could use these sentences but it doesn't mean that in every question you are using these sentences all right that will also affect your band score okay so what we try is what you also have to try is uh, gather lot of ideas as much ideas as you can gather about different topics so that in the real examination there will be no requirement for you to use these sentences all right so that's the first thing on which we need to focus but still if in the real exam you come across a difficult question and you don't know what to say at that moment so do take help of these sentences they are definitely going to help you and so your one problem for the IELTS speaking examination is solved now so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you found this video helpful do like the video subscribe to the channel and comment as well thank you so much